Where's my wallet? Where is your wallet, Kale? Oh, it's mine now. Mine now, boy. Here we are at the old grind. Got a little spicy VW. Got a little spicy VW rolling up. A little R8 action. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is your episode, dude. This is my episode? Yeah, I told you. You were like up next because we had cleaning and stuff. Dude, what are you running over right now? Wyatt's over here still taking stuff apart. We had that huge event last night. Everyone Massive event like, last night. A little tired. 2,000 people, maybe. Just about, but... I mean, it was pretty close to that. Yeah, that was a lot of, a lot of time. But today, we got this big girl. V10. Big old transaxle. Just doing some preliminary cleaning, if you will. It's pretty dirty, as you can see. Very, very grimy. Um, which dry ice does not like grease very much, so here to take this apart and get going on it. Sweet, let's get to it. Take a break from cleaning. We're gonna go to the one place. Oh. What do you guys say? Well, what do you say? What do you guys say? What do you no, I was gonna say. I was gonna say we're gonna go where? We're gonna go to the number one place in our hearts. What is it? Raising canes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We got the canes. We got the canes. We back into it. What's up next? Oh. Oh my gosh. Dude. Actually, murder it. We don't need the drill so loud. I'm full. Um, we got a good lunch in. The old canes. What's up next? Basically, um, we're probably going to be mostly working on this transaxle back here. Um, just because a lot of this stuff right now is um, like the intake plumbs are going to come off, valve covers are going to come off. Um, we're gonna get in the valley and all this stuff, um, but just trying to think about what's the most efficient way to get everything done. And uh, I think right now, if we start with the transaxle and kind of let Wyatt almost play catch up, if you will, um, so we can swap and I'll do the chassis because he's working on the chassis stuff right now. I'm working on the engine. We'll swap about midway through, and he'll take all this apart and do the clutch and everything. Um, and that's when I'll be working on the chassis as well. So I think the rest of the time we're going to be working on this transaxle, trying to get, like I said, just mostly all this grease off and a whole bunch of stuff. Obviously, you got two axles that come in right here, and they're spinning all the time, spinning, 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 and throwing grease and all types of stuff. As you can see by all the staining, I mean, all types of stains back here. So let's see what we can do, but it should be a fun time again. All right, let's get into it. Yeet. For YouTube. Oh, well, ignore the mask. Su su super fun super fact. Super fun fact. These locks, a lot of people wonder why there's locks on these transaxles. It's because Porsche didn't want anyone messing with these back in the day. So if you had any transaxle issues, you just send it back to Porsche and get it fixed. That's why they have these locks on there. So if you ever see a lock broken on your uh, Career GT transaxle, just know they did something they weren't supposed to. Just took delivery of one of our new radicals. Check this bad boy out. Yeah, Alright, sweet, you're unveiling this thing first time right here. Oh, not. I mean, you hey, are. The, si the side door would be better. No, I mean, would you open the door? Like, you're opening it right now. Oh, it's locked. Oh, dude. Come side door. Oh, yeah. It's sweet. Cool colors, huh?
practical right here. So this is an SR3, and we just got this in today, maybe just a couple hours ago. So we took a step away from our CGT recommissions, and yes, we do know it swings on backwards. You can tell we just got it done from shipping. There's still a wing on backwards. We still have these caps that basically help strap down the car when you get it. Uh, we can't even shift the car into gear because it's not fully set up. All the boxes are still inside. And to be honest, we don't even know what engine is in this. We don't know if this is a 1500 or 1340. We just got it, we inspected it out. So we got the nice red, white, and blue American flag on it. Love it. So basically the SR3 is very different than this SR10 we have right here. The SR10 comes with a turbocharged EcoBoost fully built engine and that makes around 425 horsepower. It is basically a faster version of the SR3 we have over here. The only difference in the front, you have bigger ducts basically since there are radiators mounted in the front and it helps get more airflow to the bigger engine. And since it is a bigger engine, the car tends to weigh more. So then <laughs> when you come back to the SR3, although it has a smaller engine, it still produces around 230 horsepower. And ideally, the SR3 is faster through corners because it weighs less and still produces a lot of power, while this car weighs more and produces more power. That isn't always a better thing. So we know a lot about the SR3 that we just got, a lot about the SR10 as well, but there's one that I'm not sure that you know about that's hiding back here, and it's the Senna GTR. Be sure to go to GrammarHousePerformance.com. You can buy that car. But if that car is already gone by the time you're watching this video, we are a radical dealership. We sell both of these SR10s, SR1s, SR3s, anything you want. Radical Indianapolis. Buy them now. I got the shirt on. Yeah. Yeah, see if you, you just salute around like product radical. There it is. Bam. Bam. Buy them. That's how we do. It's that simple. Now that we're done here with the radicals, Alec has been so kind to us. Let us use his bay over here. We're gonna head back over and try to avoid sweet. Pick up with Wyatt, see where this uh, CGT's back at. Yeah, so I'm taking these uh, these calipers off here. Uh, they're, they're the original yellow color um, that the Porsche carbon German brakes come in. Um, these are gonna get refinished. This client wants them in the Amazon green body color uh, that the car's gonna be. And then it's gonna have the Porsche script uh, that's on the front facing part of the caliper will be in white gold to match some of the accents in this car. So like Wyatt mentioned, this is our recommission number two, but you can see on here, we've got the matching calipers and then that GT Silver kind of scripted there, so kind of fully customizable for reference. Stock yellow. It's actually gonna become this color. It's matched, correct? Yep. And then the actual script will be the white gold. Correct. It's dealing with the uh, caps on the brake fluid over here. This is the white gold right here. So we'll have Amazon green, white gold script. It's going to look pretty good on the calipers. There'll be a lot of other accents in white gold too. Wyatt will show us those later. We'll hear about white. the white gold. Yeah, the, the white gold and the yeah the white gold's going to go on the Porsche script. Um, so here's some stuff. The calipers are all disassembled, pretty much ready, ready to go. Um, so we have the calipers. This is the battery tray. As you can see, the battery tray has got some wear. Um, it gets beat up over time. You know, the battery's heavy. You get pulled out of the battery gets replaced. It scratches the paint up. So we're going to send this out and get this re uh, powder coated. We're, we're actually we're going to test out the serif coating on this. Um, as you can see here, here's the mesh. Uh, this mesh is going to go white gold uh, along with the mesh that goes over the exhaust here. It will also go white gold. Um, you can see here, this uh, dash trim got scratched from someone having keys. Uh, keys on there hanging off their key ring and then scratch the dash so we're gonna get this refinished back to OEM, OEM color. This will get Cerakoted back to fresh black coat. These will be put down in white gold and then also the wheels, the entire wheel will be white gold and the Courage T-Badge is gonna get painted in white gold as well. So this will be an Amazon, Amazon green um, car with white gold accents and all these pieces are pretty much ready to go for Paintwork. Nice.
what do we, I mean, so, it was a busy day today with Donnie. Yeah, so. so now that Donnie's pretty much cleaned everything and we didn't eat off of it, but we probably could have. <laughs> we were close, we were close, we could have. Um, we were having Phil and Ethan from our PPF shop up in Carmel. They are traveling down so that they could PPF the tub on our car. They are the ones who have basically PPF'd recommission number one and two, and they will continue to do three and four as well. So that will be in the next video. We will have content of Ethan and Phil PPFing and protecting our tub. But good stuff today.